Hey guys, Car Guru here at 6 a.m. on a Saturday morning. Today's gonna be a fun day for the both of us because I'm actually gonna head up to Maeve, the red Tesla I'm rebuilding. I'm gonna take out all the interior components, the front motor, the front cradle, and all associated wiring harnesses today. Now, in case you haven't been following my channel, I actually rebuild these Teslas, so I'm actually gonna take all the electronics out and put it into a shell that is not wrecked. This car is completely mangled, and I'm gonna rebuild it from the ground up. A lot of people have been asking me to focus more on the technical videos and stop trying to be funny, so I'm gonna do just that, just for you guys, okay? If you guys like videos like this or wanna see more videos like this, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys soon at Sean's house, all right? Hey, what's up, everyone? So here's something I've never done before, but my plan is to remove the front motor of a Tesla Model S. If you look here, everything is shifted to the right. Uh, I thought I needed my axle. Uh, socket, but I don't because those are already busted This thing was messed up big time. So I don't even need the sockets to remove the axle nuts But uh, I'm gonna attempt to pull this front motor today. What I want to do first is I want to get the entire cradle out and This cradle it's supported by these four bolts one two and then there's two others on the other side This thing is completely toast. Look at that. This thing is It's pretty messed up. So I don't really know how many salvageable parts there'll be from this, but I'm gonna try once uh, once it's out to see what I could save. And after this is loosened here, I need to go up to the shock towers and I'm gonna pull it out in one unit. So uh, let's get to work, shall we? The other side. Okay, I think that's pretty much out. So let's just see if I start loosening the uh, the jack or lowering the jack. Let's see what starts to come down. Oh yeah, it's coming down. Look at that. Nice. Now I think the only thing holding it up right now are the these bolts up here that holds the entire shock in and I also have to do this control arm here once those two are out I should have a better idea for uh, what else I have to loosen but I kind of think that's it there's not really too much else to do so let me get these going here too busted anyway so it shouldn't be that big of a deal uh, getting this out no need for the axle nut because it's it's kind of screwed at this point let's go to the other side Again, very similar here. Uh, this one's broken. This makes my life a little bit easier. So let's drop this whole thing and see where it leads. I'm gonna lower the camera a little bit and see if I can get a good shot of that. And just for a little clarity. It's uh, that bracket right here. I have to undo those screws on either side. This is a lot more difficult when the car's trash, I'll tell you that much, but I'm going to keep pushing away. All right, those brackets are removed. And now I'm going to remove these and see if the whole thing comes crashing down. Oh boy, this might. It's kind of nerve wracking.
Whoa. Look at that. Look at that right there. Yuck. All right. Let's put these back on the suspension. That should fall right out too. Actually, there was no stress on that one, so that's fine. So now, I'll try dropping the jack again. Whoa. Wow, this whole motor wants to come out. Look at that, huh? All right.
Woo!